This is Bodishan here. So today we're talking all about the science of rainbows. So first up, what is a rainbow, right? So it comes from the electromagnetic spectrum and it's actually the part that humans can see. So it's the part that's visible to us and we do call it visible light. So it's right here in the middle of the spectrum. Um, and this is gonna be the rainbow. So Roy G. Biv, in other words, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet colors um, that humans can actually see. Now, every color has its own wavelength, okay? It's gonna be very unique. So you can see here, they're all different. Um, so the red, orange, and yellows, they're gonna be lower energy with longer wavelengths. And then our blues, indigos, and violets, they're gonna be higher energy with the shorter wavelengths. But each one is its own unique wavelength. And that's important because when they all come together, they do equal white light which sounds crazy, but it's true, okay? This is totally different from pigments and paints and things like that because we are talking light here. Now, um, we do receive white light from the sun, and this is another interesting fact, right? Because the sun looks yellow to humans, but it actually emits a white light to earth. So when that shines down and it hits a water droplet, the water droplet's gonna work as a prism, and what's gonna happen is that white light will enter. And remember, the white light is all colors put together, right? So as soon as it enters, it's entering a new medium. It's going from air into water. And it's gonna change the direction and it's gonna change the speed of that light. So we'll end up doing something called refracting. Okay, so it will refract. In other words, it will bend and it will slow down in the water. Um, and it will do that a couple of times and it will refract out of it. And this is where it kind of speeds up and change directions one more time as it exits out from water into the air. When it does this, it spreads out all the colors, okay? So the more it bends and the more it refracts, it will spread out every single color into a separate wavelength. And that way we can see the entire rainbow. So it's not all squished together as white. Now it's spread out like a fan and we can see every wavelength. In other words, we can see every color come out. Now, when you have a whole sky full of all of these raindrops shining with all of these colors out of them, we get this beautiful display of a rainbow. Um, so that is light refraction. It's just the bending of a light as it enters a new medium and it changes the speed and direction of it. And you can see this happen with prisms on earth too. You can just get a little um, piece of plastic or glass and you can try this at your house. Just shine a flashlight on it. You can twist it around and you'll see that rainbow come out of it. <clears throat> now, can you get to the end of a rainbow? Everybody always asks us, right? There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and all of that. So how do we get there? Can we go find it? Sounds like fun to me. But in truth, uh, you can't get to the end of a rainbow because it's a circle. It's actually a complete circle, all right? We just can't see them usually because there's ground there and it kind of cuts off the rainbow. Um, but if you look in like a lens from a camera or something like that, you can see the whole incomplete circle of the rainbow being formed. If you are around a cliff and you can see farther down than where the um, dirt actually is or the road is, you can see that the rainbow will continue, all right? Uh, now, a couple cool things about a rainbow. Rainbows are unique to you and your location because it's all about angles of the sunlight coming in and how they're hitting those raindrops and refracting. So if you have a really big rainbow where you're seeing the majority of the circle of the rainbow, uh, it means that the sun is behind you and the rain clouds or wherever has just rained and the water droplets are in the sky is in front of you, okay? Now, if you were to move forward, guess what? That rainbow will move forward to the next rain cloud or wherever. If you move out of the rain cloud zone, your rainbow disappears, okay? Because you have to have those rain droplets to refract in order to see the rainbow. If you were to go, um, side to side, like if I were to move left or if I were to move right, my rainbow would move with me. So I can never get to the end of the rainbow because it's all about um, the angle of the light hitting and refracting those raindrops. So it has to be at a certain distance and certain angles going in. Now what's really cool is your rainbows are going to look different at different times of the day. So if you wait until the um, sun is way overhead, your rainbow's gonna be really small, okay? It's gonna kind of sink even further down than it would be if it was just directly behind you. So you're gonna have a very small and shallow rainbow. You're not gonna see very much of that circle at all. 
Um, what else is cool is it's your unique rainbow. In other words, if there's another person and they're standing over here or somewhere like um, a little bit further from you where they're at a different angle from the sun and those rain clouds, they may see a rainbow too. And you guys may be talking about the same rainbow, but guess what? Their rainbow is really different than yours because they're seeing different angles of light coming in and refracting. So they may see a rainbow, you may see a rainbow, but it's your very own rainbow. And everybody's rainbow is a little bit different, a little unique based off of where they're standing and the angles of the light coming in. All right, now it's a good chance you're pretty much seeing the same angle um, if you got friends right next to you, right? So if you're all in the same car and you see a rainbow, you're probably looking at the same rainbow. But if there's people across the road or pretty far away, they're probably looking at a rainbow that might even be at a different angle than the one that you're looking at. So super cool science, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hey, you guys, if you thought this video was awesome, go ahead and click that subscribe button and you can see all the new cool science fact videos that I'm putting out. Thank y'all. Bye, everybody.